The Command Palette in Obsidian doesn't get enough love. Yes, it's a core feature, but it doesn't get enough credit for its usefulness and it's often overlooked. So in this video, I'm gonna share the three hidden superpowers the Command Palette gives you to help take your Obsidian game to the next level and give you a couple additional tips for helping you use it to supercharge your own productivity and creativity workflows. Let's start by looking at the basic functionality of the Command Palette. Now on the tin, it's basically a tool that gives you access to the commands in Obsidian directly from your keyboard. You can run any available command from the Command Palette's interactive window by selecting it with the arrow keys and then hitting Enter. To access the Command Palette, you first need to make sure that the Command Palette Core plugin is enabled in the Obsidian settings. Once it's enabled, you'll see an icon that you can use to open the Command Palette in the ribbon on the left, but by far the easiest way to get to it is through its associated hotkey, which is Command P on the Mac or Control P on Windows. Now, if you're using Obsidian on a mobile device like an iPhone or iPad, you can still use the keyboard shortcuts if you have a Bluetooth keyboard connected. But you can also access the command palette by dragging down from the middle towards the bottom of the screen. On iOS, this is the exact same gesture that triggers Spotlight on your home screen, which I think feels very natural because the command palette is kind of like Spotlight for Obsidian. Now you can configure this quick action on the mobile version of Obsidian to something other than the command palette if you want. Just go to the Obsidian settings, select mobile, then tap the configure button and choose a command that you'd like this action to run instead. Now I know some people in my Obsidian University community that like to set this to the quick switcher because they use it to frequently open and create new notes. But I like to keep this set to the command palette because it makes it easy to trigger any command in Obsidian quickly. Now regardless, if you use one specific command over and over again, you may want to change this. Now once you access the command palette, you can just start typing the name of the command that you want to run. The list of commands will filter in real time and you can just choose the command that you want to trigger with the arrow keys, then run the command by hitting the enter key. Now by the way, the command palette here supports fuzzy matching, which lets you search for commands even if you don't know their exact names. So for example, you could type ICB to find the insert code block command or SCF to find the command for save current file. And this makes the command palette a phenomenal command discovery tool in addition to the launch pad for the commands that you already know and remember. Being able to search using fuzzy matching makes the command palette a great way to find new actions. So as you can see, the command palette is more than just a simple command directory. It's a really powerful way to find and trigger the commands that can unlock Obsidian's full potential but the value of the command palette is not always obvious, especially to new users. So here are three hidden superpowers that the command palette gives you to take your Obsidian game to the next level. First, as mentioned already, the command palette is great for discovering commands. And as a result, I use it to discover new actions whenever I install a new plugin. Community plugins allow you to extend the capabilities of Obsidian in some pretty incredible ways but it's not always clear from the community plugins directory listing what a specific plugin is going to enable. So the first thing I do whenever I install a new community plugin is I open up the command palette and I start typing the name of the plugin I just installed. For example, in a previous video, I walked through using the day planner plugin for time blocking in Obsidian. And if you wanna watch that video, here's the link to go do so. But if you install the day planner plugin and you want to see the commands that are available, you can do that easily by triggering the command palette from any note and just searching for day planner. Then you'll see all the commands that the day planner has just enabled for you. The second superpower the command palette gives you is a quick way to remember keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys that are associated with individual commands. Just search for the command that you wanna trigger and if there is a hotkey associated with it, it will show up to the right of the command in the command palette listing. For example, if I had a hotkey associated with opening today's daily note, but I can't recall what it is, I could look up that hotkey one of two ways. I could go to the Obsidian settings, then go to hotkeys, then search for daily note, and finally see the hotkey show up in the list. Or I could open up the command palette from anywhere in Obsidian and just start typing daily note, and I can see the hotkey that I have associated with this command is command control option up arrow. Now I can just hit enter to trigger that command and I can use that keyboard shortcut the next time to run the command directly from my keyboard. The third superpower the command palette gives you is a quick way to reopen sidebar views. 
For example, if you use the properties view, you'll have a view in the right sidebar that shows you all the properties in your entire Obsidian Vault that was likely added there the first time you assigned a property to a note. But if you right click on it and you close that view, it's not exactly obvious how to get it back. Well, the way to do it is to trigger the command palette and then reopen the view by running the show all properties command, which then adds this view back into your sidebar. The command palette also has a few additional features that makes finding and using commands easier. So here are a few other quick tips on how to make the command palette even more useful. First, if you use a certain command often and you don't wanna to have to search for it, you can actually pin it to the top of the command palette. Just go to the Obsidian settings, select command palette, and search for the command or the commands that you want to pin to the top of the command palette. Once they're pinned, you can grab the drag handles and reorder how they appear. Once you have commands pinned, they show up at the top of the command palette window so you don't have to search for them. Just select the command that you wanna run with the arrow keys and then hit the enter key. Second, you can use inline commands by enabling slash commands. These allow you to perform commands from inside the editor by typing a forward slash at the beginning of a line or after any blank space. Slash commands can be toggled on via a separate core plugin and you can use them to search and run commands the same way that you can inside the command palette. Slash commands are popular in apps like Slack and they may feel more natural than activating the command palette via a separate keyboard shortcut. And like the command palette, the slash commands also support fuzzy matching, which makes it easy to locate the command that you want to run. So as you can see, there's a lot that you can do with the command palette in Obsidian. In fact, if you were to come to me as a brand new Obsidian user and ask me what one tip I would give you to help you get better with Obsidian, it would be this. Memorize the single keyboard shortcut to get to the command palette for your platform. As I said earlier, on the Mac, that keyboard shortcut is Command P and on Windows, it's Control P. But you can do pretty much anything in Obsidian from this single keyboard shortcut. And leaning on the command palette to help you remember and run commands will elevate your use of Obsidian and you'll be running some pretty fancy productivity and creativity workflows with it in no time. Thanks for watching, and if you want even more Obsidian goodness, you should check out my free Obsidian University Starter Vault. It has a bunch of other Obsidian tips, as well as my personal collection of template files, some Obsidian-related shortcuts, and additional goodies to help you get more out of your notes and ideas in Obsidian. All the tips are organized by category, and the Obsidian University Starter Vault also includes other resources like a markdown reference note, a list of all the supported callout formats, and all of my recommended Obsidian settings. You can download the Obsidian University Starter Vault for free by going to obsidianuniversity.com vault.